Okay, I am about to take the brake master cylinder out. I've taken the cover off. I've dismantled the, the shaft for the brake and clutch pedals. Dropped them down through that hole. The cover is up here. There's the shaft. This is the brake master clevis. I think it's probably seen better days. I've ordered a new rebuild kit including one of those. And uh, I've rigged up this little uh, setup to try and drain the fluid from the, the cylinder. It's just a jar with a tube in it. And uh, a syringe just to suck it all out so that's all it is that one there is cut short from the top of the jar the other one sits inside the jar and I just suck it out and it saves any mess and hopefully it will suck all the fluid out of that cylinder in fact if I left it there it would just slowly drain away but it's almost empty anyway Okay, I've undone the brake nipple at, at the rear and I've just managed to get that bottom bolt undone. You can get a spanner in the back of it but you have to manipulate the front. There's only one spot you can get the spanner in but, but it's doable. Let's see if it will come out now. the manual says to take the rubber bum, bung, sorry, bung from that bulkhead and it gives you rear access to the banjo fitting if the banjo fitting needs to come off that is but I don't think it does or if I need to take it off I'll mark the position so that that, um, that nipple can be screwed back in in the same spot as it came out I've ordered a rebuild kit for this in the hope that the cylinder is going to be okay. Um, normally this would just pop out. So I'm not even sure this is viable. But we'll soon find out. Uh, I really want to keep this cylinder because you cannot buy these anymore. And um, I'd rather keep the car as original as possible. I'll um, sand this back and repaint it, but hopefully the bore's okay. The other, the other option, of course, is to get it sleeved, but we'll see. Same mistake I did. Make sure it's well drained. So I'll give this a good flush with brake cleaner. Okay. Let's see if I can. Get this to come out. There we go. That's pretty messy. Okay, I need to take the the banjo fitting off. I'm going to have to rod it to to get the rest of the stuff out. Cactus. 
and that's how it goes. The rubbers actually look pretty shot, very very worn and it's pretty filthy in there. Okay I've cleaned it, the bores look okay. So what I'm going to do now is just strip all the paint off it and um, repaint it. So we'll go, we'll go through that process. I haven't got the repair kit yet anyway. I've also cleaned this up, the uh, piston, it was fairly rusty and um, see how we go. applied the paint stripper, probably need a few coats of this, I'll scrape it all off, sand it back, prime it and um, two pipe paint it. Okay, the paint is almost all gone. I'll uh, wire brush it before I um, give it a coat of primer. I'll probably give it an etch primer and then a high build primer. I'll then rub it back with um, 400 sandpaper and then spray it. Probably an aluminium colour or silver. Depends what I can get. I'll try and match it closely to my new uh, clutch master cylinder. Okay, the master cylinder has had three coats of etch primer and three, co three coats of a high build primer. This will be sanded down and then I'll give it three or four coats of, uh, well, the color I've selected is uh, silver aluminium and I'll we'll show you that when it's done. Okay, I have given this a coat of high bull primer, sanded it all back, wiped it down with wax and grease remover, and I'm just about to give it three or four coats of uh, an aluminium silver type color, and we'll see how it pans out. Okay, this is the finished master cylinder, all painted, all looking pretty good, I think. And I'm now ready to install the new seal, seal kit. Okay, these are the older components which I'll replace with the the new kit which I've got here. That's the new valve that fits here on the spring. So first up we'll dismantle this piece which is pretty easy. We just kind of unscrew it. This one's rubber, it's a different valve but 
hopefully it does the same job fits in here like so and that will go in there so then we've got the kit new washer we've got the rubber kit not sure about the colour of that, I'd rather it was black but I can either reuse the old one or we'll use that, we'll see, there we go ok that's the new cup, just check that it's the same size which it appears to be yep. and that's the new New rubber for that end, rubber seal. Sorry, so we'll start. We'll take this one off. The tapered, tapered part of the seal goes that way. This might be a challenge getting this one on, but we'll see. A challenge. Almost on. I don't want to damage it. Oh, that was a bit of a challenge, I'll be honest. Okay. It does fit. So, it's the new shim. It sits here. That one sits there. That's how it goes. So these are the new components in place and those are the old ones. Okay I don't want to get brake fluid on this because it will absolutely wreck the paintwork so I just want to put some brake fluid inside the bow I'll just drip it in with a brush some of this these parts with fluid that should be enough that fits in there like so just put some fluid on that rubber
put that in like so. A bit more fluid. Washer. And piston. It's a case of pushing this in and um, securing it with the e-clip. With the e Tight fit. Quite tricky. And that's it. Seems to work okay. And, uh, tomorrow I'll fit it on the car and then we'll bleed the brakes. I need to take the clevis back out so that I can install this in the car. to put the cylinder back in a bit of jiggling to get it in I don't want to damage it to get it threaded so it's just a case of tightening that up it's a very tight space okay we're almost there can okay, do that one up when I get the bolts in Top one in first. Okay. That will help position the, the lower bolt. Okay, now this is going to be the tricky part, getting this bolt in. Let's see how we go.
Okay, I have the lower bolt in. Tighten her up. Okay, now we'll put the clevis in. Sometimes this can be a bit tricky. Push it in. Okay, I've managed to get the pedals back in, that was a bit tricky. The cylinder or the brake master cylinder back in. It's a bit fiddly, but we got there in the end. Um, I just need to bleed the system now. Rear offside, rear near side, front offside, and front near side, and we will bleed it until the system is fully uh, purged of air. And we should be good to go. Okay, I've started to bleed the brakes. I'm using the uh, Gunson Easy Bleed system. Uh, you can fill that reservoir with uh, fluid, but I'm just basically using it as a pressure vessel to pressure the master, and I, uh, I'll manually fill it up. All I've done is uh, I'll connect to the spare tyre I've got and uh, the maximum pressure is 20 psi. Make sure the paint works covered because this stuff eats paint. So I'm just putting it in with a syringe and just um, taking note of the level in the reservoir. it full. Connect this, this end of the easy bleed system to the reservoir. Move over here. I'll pressurize the system now. Done. Move up to the rear. I've done the uh, rear offside. And now uh, I'll do the rear corner yes, the bleed nipple. bubbles disappear and then I'll shut the valve still some bubbles in there yeah don't want to over tighten this because these things can strip Okay, all done. I've bled all the brakes. Rear offside. 
be a near side, front off side, and front near side. And um, I do have bricks, so hopefully all is good. I need to take it for a test run. Bit difficult under the um, current lockdown laws, but I might take it tomorrow morning and um, fill her up with fuel. I think that's a good excuse. Okay, until the next one. See ya. Keep well, keep safe.